Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Uh, literally just got home. The time is uh, 12.30 at night here and uh, just been taking in the game today. Um, Arsenal versus Chivas. What a great, great atmosphere it was down there. The, the American fans were absolutely incredible. The tailgate party before. It was just a really, really nice day and um, a good performance by Arsenal, uh, especially by Alex Oxlade chamberlain who scored a wonder goal in the game. If you haven't already see it, seen that go um, goal, make sure you see it. But an absolute wonder goal by Alex Oxlade chamberlain Another goal for Tuba Akpom um, playing up front. And yeah, an all-round decent performance. Rob Holding got on the uh, score sheet as well, so that congratulations to him. Few shaky moments for the defenders, both Callum Chambers and Rob Holding, um, just showing that we, even though these young players are up and coming and doing well, we still need an experienced um, centre back. And Arsene Wenger inevitably was questioned in his press conference about it. He was asked, Who are you signing? Let us know what's happening. Of course, Arsene Wenger, being Arsene Wenger, was very coy. Um, he said that, listen, we're not close to signing anybody at the moment. We're working hard on it. The usual stuff. You know what you're going to get from Arsene Wenger. But he wasn't really letting up or revealing anything. I think this is a very, very big week for Arsenal. I know I've said this before, but now that they're returning um, back off of the tour, back to the UK, there's certain deals that really and truly it would be prime now to try and get these across the line. There's only two weeks to go till the start of the season. We need a striker. We need a centre-back. Are we going to get those players? That's what we're going to find out. Mustafi, Shedra Mustafi, who we've been speaking about several times on the show. Lots of rumours flying about around about Mustafi today. Um, of course, Wenger, as I said, was asked about Mustafi in his press conference. And he said that um, he, you know, he's, he's not letting on about anything but also he didn't discount the deal. Uh, what I'm hearing is that they're gonna try and get that deal completed this week, the Mustafi deal. So that's what we're gonna have to keep our eyes on, but Mustafi um, is one that they're trying to um, get sorted out. He was also asked about Lacazette. Again, as I said, he didn't really let up on what's gonna happen with Lacazette. But again, the Daily Mail today um, claiming that Arsenal will return with a bigger bid for Lacazette. Um, that they also would like to get the deal done for Lacazette this week. They want to get Lacazette bought and in place before the start of the season and they're going to try and see if they can go and get Lacazette this week. I think that's a deal that would please many of the Arsenal fans. I've spoken about it many times and a lot of Arsenal fans seem to be you know, really up for Lacazette. We need a striker. He's got a great goal scoring record and Daily Mail claiming today that Arsenal are going to go in this week with that bigger bid for Lacazette with the hope of getting that across the line. The president of Lyon, of course, has been doing what he does. <laughs> um, he's a guy that is very difficult. He's been coming out and saying that, listen, I'm going to try and get Lacazette to sign a new contract. But as I keep saying with some of these deals, we haven't heard nothing from Lacazette. I think Lacazette wants to move to Arsenal. Lacazette must realise that, you know, this is his time now. He, he didn't go last summer. The deals may not come along again. If he doesn't have a great season for Leon, for instance, this season, those deals may not come along again or the teams may go out there and get strikers and he may not, ended up, may not end up playing for one of those big clubs. This is his big chance to sign for Arsenal. Will he seize it? I think that's going to be one thing that we're going to find out about this week or at least before the start of the season because as the Daily Mail said Arsenal want to get it done before the start of the season. What about Mario Icardi? We thought that this was a deal that was dead, that there was no chance of, of, of you know anything happening with Icardi but we're being told today um, and this is coming out of the Daily Star they're saying that the Icardi deal is something that Arsenal will turn to if they can't get the Lacazette, Lacazette deal done. If they can't get that deal done, they're, they're going to try and turn to try and get the done, deal done with Inter Milan for £50 million. Pounds. Now, you know what? I'm reading this story. It doesn't make no sense to me. 
if Arsenal can't get Lacazette, which will probably cost absolute maximum £40 million, then they're going to go and try and get Lacazette... Sorry, then they're going to go and try and get Mara Icardi for £50 million. So you don't get something done for £40 million, you go and get it done for 50 It doesn't make sense. Like, it just seems to me that the star have just put this story together. Um, you could even argue it's been made up. Actually, I'm going to say it. They've made this story up. There's no legs to this story whatsoever. They've made a story out of nothing. Saying that if Arsenal don't get Lacazette, they're going to turn to Icardi. Why would they? It's £10 million pounds more. I'm sorry, I think that story's been made up. I just don't see that any substance to that story at all. Um, but they are linking Icardi with a move to Arsenal today. And finally, Riyad Mahrez. Again, this is one that won't go away. Arsene Wenger was asked about it. Remember, Arsene Wenger went to watch Leicester. He was sort of asked about it. He said, listen, we're watching Leicester. We're playing them soon. So I want to see what they're playing like. But when he was asked about if he's put in a bid for Riyad Mahrez, again, it's not something that he denied. I think that there is legs to this story. I think Arsenal are interested in Riyad Mahrez. Will they sign him? I think we're going to find out soon. It seems to be there's three deals. Three deals that may, you know, that need to be done. Lacazette, Riyad Mahrez and Mustafi. I don't think I don't know, something tells me Arsenal might not get all three of them, but maybe two of them. Out of those three, which one do you think is the most important signing? Mustafi, we need a centre-back, you know that. Riyad Mahrez would bring absolute quality to the team on that right wing. Can also play on the left as well, you can switch him. Or is it Lacazette, the out-and-out -out striker that we know that we need? Which one of those do you think is the most important out of all three, I'm going to do a poll, vote for what you think is the most important. But I think there's going to be a lot of transfer activity around Arsenal, whether it'll get done or not. But I think that they're going to be doing a lot of negotiations now that they're back in the UK. They have to get something across the line before the start of the season. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. Um, it's my last day here in Los Angeles. Uh, fly out in the morning, heading back to the UK. Um, it's been a fantastic time here. I've got to say the fans the US fans have been absolutely wonderful If you ever get a chance you think if if Arsenal ever come back over this um, side of the world and you want to go and watch football with some Superb fans make sure you get back to the US. They've got some brilliant brilliant fans here. Well done to the fans for today um, also got to say, you know, a big thank you to all the fans that showed us so much love um, in the time that we've been here. It's been really, really good and looking forward to coming back, moving back to England and then it's going to be on to Sweden or Norway. Looking forward to those as well. But will Arsenal get that business done before the start of the season? We're going to have to wait and see.